Breaking news on a massive liberal government scandal that is only getting bigger the more we uncover it. Confidential documents reveal Trudeau's administration deliberately allowed airline flair to dodge over $67 million in taxes for years. Turns out Flair has shady ties to a Miami hedge fund run by globalist elites connected to everything from election rigging to cocaine trafficking. Follow the money trail and the web of corruption is clear. Trudeau lets his corporate friends skip out on huge tax bills. Why? It seems more than likely those cocaine rings laundered millions to steal the elections for Trudeau. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, people. Who knows how many billions in taxes Trudeau lets his crooked pals avoid paying? He's in the back pocket of the tax-dodging, drug-running globalist cable that wants to rule over us all. Stick around as we expose the creeping web of lies and corruption infesting Ottawa. Trudeau and his crooked liberals are eroding our freedoms and pillaging honest taxpayers to finance their twisted agenda. But the truth cannot be hidden for long. The people are waking up and we won't rest until we take back control from these unelected elites drunk on power. Trudeau's slick PR facade is crumbling. His time running this country into the ground is coming to an end. Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. Before we jump into today's video, take a second to sign up for our exclusive uncensored newsletter. The mainstream media won't report Trudeau's scandals and corruption, but our newsletter delivers the raw truth to your inbox daily. We'll leave you the link in the description box. Now let's dive into today's crazy developments. Another day, another example of how Trudeau's liberals can't seem to do anything right. The latest blunder. Turns out Flair Airlines skirted paying over $67 million in taxes for dozens of fancy new planes they brought in over the last few years. And even worse, Trudeau's liberal government knew about it the whole time but didn't do a damn thing just sat around twiddling their thumbs while Flair racked up millions in unpaid taxes that could have helped regular Canadians. The timeline says it all. Flair imported 20 new planes over two years and didn't pay a nickel in GST on any of them. That's right, $67 million that should have gone to things like roads, schools, and healthcare just disappeared into thin air. And the Trudeau government's response? Delay, distract, and deny. They dragged their heels until the last minute before finally being forced to act. Even then, it took months of lobbying from Trudeau's insider pals before they cut a backroom repayment deal with Flair. The Trudeau government just let that $67 million in unpaid taxes pile up without lifting a finger to stop it. For years, they turned a blind eye and let Flair continue flying those tax-free planes all over the place. It wasn't until late 2023 that the courts finally had to step in and order Flair's property seized to pay back what they owed. Even then, Trudeau's buddies had to spend months lobbying and pulling strings before the government quietly swept the problem under the rug earlier this year. Flair's chief financial officer, Joseph Lee, commented on the scandal and said, regarding the amount in question, Flair refrains from commenting on the specifics of tax credits or their utilization. We maintain rigorous compliance with Canadian tax regulations and regularly seek professional advice to ensure adherence to all legal requirements. So thanks to the Liberals' suspicious oversight, Flair got $67 million worth of planes for free, while the rest of us have to pay up. And Flair's only excuse, a vague promise they're following the rules now. And this fishy backroom repayment deal hints at the possibility that there's more to the story than they're telling us. Perhaps Flair just happens to have close ties with a controversial hedge fund run by Trudeau's pals. Makes you wonder if those high-powered lobbying efforts involved greasing a few palms if you catch my drift. Why else would Trudeau's liberal government bend over backwards to help a company that dodged taxes for so long? This reeks of cronyism and political favors. Trudeau helps out his insider friends while regular Canadians like us get left holding the bag. One has to wonder, what kind of back-scratching went on here behind the scenes? Are Trudeau and his liberal hotshots personal pals with the bigwigs at Flair and that hedge fund? Sure seems like it. We need some straight answers about what dealings they've had. How many times did they meet at some fancy restaurant to chat over steak and champagne? The truth needs to come out. And why was Flair lobbying Trudeau's insider cronies for months to bury this thing? That is clearly not normal. Makes you think they were cutting some under-the-table deals to prevent a bigger scandal from coming to light. Well, we have the truth. Turns out Flair is tied hip-to-hip -hip with some Miami hedge fund run by shady characters. This outfit's been connected to everything from predatory lending scams to, get this, cocaine trafficking charges. No wonder Flair is not exactly a model taxpayer. The hedge fund even leases Flair those planes they skipped out on paying taxes for. With that kind of dubious partner, no wonder Flair is not exactly playing by the rules. And apparently this hedge fund's founder also has a history of cocaine busts. Let me tell you, if you or I got busted with cocaine, we'd be locked up faster than you can say, corruption. But Trudeau gives preferential treatment to a company connected to a convicted trafficker. That reeks to high heaven. With how chummy Trudeau is with these tax-dodging, cocaine-peddling cronies, there is a serious doubt we'll ever see that $67 million again. The ties between the liberals and this crooked hedge fund stink of backroom deals and sweetheart favors. Makes you wonder what Trudeau's getting out of helping out these shady characters. But don't expect Trudeau to own up to this mess anytime soon. 
The whole Sunny Ways song and dance is just a facade to cover up his shady deals. This government prizes secrecy and cover-ups, rather than transparency, when they screw up. While the rest of us have to pay every penny in taxes on time or get slapped with fines, the Trudeau liberals let their corporate buddies off scot-free. $67 million unpaid for years? No problem, says Trudeau. The tax man at CRA brings down the hammer over a few hundred bucks if you miss a deadline. But Flair goes years without paying a dime in taxes and gets the red carpet treatment. One set of rules for Trudeau's friends and another for normal Canadians who can barely keep up with the rising cost of living as is. And the lack of transparency around this deal is unacceptable, but not surprising from the Trudeau liberals. The government is hiding behind privacy excuses to avoid releasing details on what exactly happened with Flair and why they allowed it to go on so long. Canadians deserve to know how many times situations like this have happened and how much tax revenue has been lost due to government negligence or favoritism. But, as usual, the Liberals care more about covering up their incompetence than being accountable. We have every right to be mad as heck about this whole double standard. While regular Canadians get slapped with huge fines for making tiny mistakes on their taxes, Trudeau lets his corporate pals off the hook after not paying $67 million they owe. This Flair Airlines fiasco is just the latest example of how Trudeau's government is incompetent, unaccountable, and downright sneaky. His apologies and promises to clean up their act ring real hollow by now. How many times have we heard the same old tune after the liberals are caught red-handed? Trudeau says he'll change, but the corruption continues. Canadians are fed up with the excuses and double talk. We expect transparency and integrity from our leaders, not shady backroom deals and cover-ups. But Trudeau's spineless evasions in the Flair scandal have shown his true colors. Trudeau is spineless and unethical to the core. He has shown no backbone by failing to take accountability for this incompetent oversight that allowed $67 million in taxes to go uncollected. He continues to insult Canadians by misleading and making hollow promises instead of owning up to his government's staggering failure. Not only did Trudeau allow this massive tax evasion to occur over years, but his cozy ties with Flair Airlines and its shady owners reek of corruption. Granting a sweetheart repayment deal to friends tied to cocaine traffickers is the opposite of integrity. Trudeau has failed Canadians one too many times. His endless lies and deceit in the Flair scandal are the last straw. He has shattered any illusion that he operates with transparency or accountability. We're all sick and tired of the cover-ups, lame excuses, and empty political talk from Trudeau. He's shown he doesn't have the ethics or backbone to lead this great country of ours. The Flair Airlines mess falls directly in Trudeau's lap, and it's high time he paid the price for it. If he had an ounce of integrity left, he'd resign immediately. Canadians deserve way better than a spineless PM who breaks promises and sells out taxpayers to help his shitty corporate pals. No more second chances, he's used up all his mulligans. Trudeau has lost any moral authority and needs to hit the road. Well, that's all for now. How many more times will Trudeau betray the Canadian people before he is held accountable? When will his endless lies and empty platitudes stop? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also subscribe to our newsletter, where we share daily uncensored and unbiased news straight to your inbox. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I'll see you in the next one.